Great week of Guilty Gear action. We got Craze Zato, Craze Ender going up against Kirahana, who we have not seen in a few weeks. But the last time, it's actually, it's been, it's been a few months at this point. But the last time Kirahana was in the ladder, performed very, very well. Definitely going to be on the lookout for them in that race to top cut this week, which is at least top six. Oh, wow. It's like he blocked, but not the second part. Feels bad. <laughs> All right. Okay, she's trying to navigate the screen, trying to figure out how to get that Zato pressure started. And close goes out. Uh-oh. Kirahan is in. And even though Testament isn't the, the biggest uh, biggest damage character in the world, Zato, that low defense, that low guts, it to take quite a lot of damage, mister. Oh, wow. Oh. Tried to get something there with PRC, but unfortunately not able to continue. Okay, big counter hit. Gets the burst out from Kira. Okay. That should be death. Very nice. Very nice. What's up, Persian? Dual three. Let's rock. All right, we're going to round three. Oh, nice. That that that's flight into jumping, man. You can tell. You can tell who the stronger Zatos are. How they use flight. So so strong. Okay, nice. And I like that. I like the uh, the choice to prioritize the positioning. Just teleport, get the hell out of there. Okay, staying solid at the moment. That, this JP has been getting a ton done though. Oh. Ah, let's get overheaded. Ooh, how are you gonna get out? Yeah, no meter available. Unfortunately, no burst either. Okay, game one gonna go to Kirahana. It's okay though. That was definitely not a bad first game from Crazed Ender. And it is first to three, so we got we got time. We got time for the adjustments to be made. Mankind knew that they cannot also I think it's funny how every time every time I look at the match dashboard blue heck is always playing against someone that has a color in their name too so right now it's blue heck versus pink rain some uh some color some pigment warfare if you would All right, nice JD, but get 6B a day. You gotta respect testing at 6B. That thing is something else. Oh, I kind of messed up the mix up a little bit. But good defense from Kira. Oof, another great 6P. It just reaches so high. Like, it, it's so deceptive. You're like, surely I'm safe, right? Nope. <laughs> Absolutely not. How dare you even insinuate that you're safe? Uh-oh. Fireball on the Arbiter sign starting to cause some issues. And I was I was talking about Testament last time we saw her. But it seems like at the beginning. Oof, in the bust out super as well. I was gonna say at the beginning it seemed like every testament was like abusing Arbiter Sign. And then like once testament's game plan and the better stuff kind of got figured out we started to see it a lot less and now it feels like arbiter sign is back in uh <laughs> is back in flavor i know they i know they made it better but definitely definitely see it uh used more than you would expect Mankind knew that they all right game three 
Crazed Ender has had some, some pretty solid sequences, but unfortunately has not been able to put together an entire game. It is difficult. It's not an easy thing to do with the level of talent we get in Let's Rocks, but, you know, part of the joy of fighting games is trying to figure it out. And as I say that, a clean round from Kirahana it seems to have figured out what to do here. Yeah, definitely looking out for that flight into jumping. Oh, nice pickup. Gets the splat and the break from what seems like max distance. Oh, Eddie dead. Was looking for burst. Okay, finally gets it. And again, that 6P is just causing all sorts of issues. And that's going to be it. Kirahana will take it 3-0. to zero. A valiant effort from Crazed Ender. A valiant effort, but we'll go down to Kirahana looking very, very strong. Let's see who we Duel one. You know, it used to be that we would never, we would almost never get Ramblethals uh, in, in ladders, but I feel like we've been seeing her more and more lately. <laughs> Hiho is in the in the ladder this week. Yep, returning favorite. Lots of really strong names. I'm really curious as to how top six is going to turn out. It is top four comes in winners, and then fifth and sixth place make it out in losers. Should be sick to see. Oh, bust out. Doesn't get punished though because air block. So actually still fine. Back throw incident. Hyperstar trying to run that offense. Two bars. Okay. Hyperstar kind of kind of playing, like honestly playing Zata. Like, haven't seen much Eddie. Okay, there's the summon. I was going to say, I was like, we're going to need some Eddie usage here. Okay. Drunker Shade anti air. And now you're out of Eddie. Oh, okay. Looks like he really likes to do strings into breaking the law. Oh, no. This is not the situation you want to be in. Restro. Mmm. Big damage. Okay, nice. Hey, and that is the round. Okay. Both going to have burst going into round three. Definitely a tough matchup for Zato. Ram has so many tools to deal with. Eddie approaches, sword throw, kind of annihilating the entire world for him. So you have to finesse a little bit, but it can be done. Not a huge margin of error though. Wow, that, that, <laughs> bro, the sound effect associated with that, that stun animation. <laughs> Oh man, Zato did not know what to do. Oh, I think he's dead. Yep, that's gonna be game one to Restro. AKA Ramlethal Lover. Also, what the? Did someone just donate $50? Patrick? All right, bro. Patrick with the $50 to the Macharino says, insert inspirational quote here. All right, bro, that's what's up. Thank you for the dono. <laughs> Damn it, man. Oh, we're up to 90 bucks. We're, we're only $7 away from paying out top four, guys. If you haven't already, check out the Macharino page. There's a lot of free sponsor quests. We can get there. If all of y'all click some sponsor quests, we can make it to that $100 easily. All right, back in. Game two, nice. PRC, oh, dropped it. Looked like Ram was like a little bit too far under Zata there to get the follow-up. Oh, this is not... Happy situation. Does have meter for YRC if he wants to try to get out, but he's still stuck in the corner. Ram's down a sword, but it doesn't look like it's going to matter. Definitely seeing Restro exploit some of the harder parts of the matchup for Zato. Okay. Big combo here. Positive bonus. Is out of Eddie for a while, though, and this is not a hard knockdown, so you have to defend for a bit. Oh, gets the burst. Huge. Not the most damage, but still something. Two bars available after this. So this is, once again, not a hard knockdown. So we have BRC, we have YRC, we have 
all the RCs in the world available. Let's see how Hyperstar chooses to use his meter. Nice mix up. Still has not spent any of that meter. Okay. And actually, <laughs> outranges the Mortobato. For some reason, the, the, in my mind, I was like, man, he actually might get hit by this super from back there. Because that, that super is massive. But not this time. <laughs> We've seen that super do some incredible things. Though. Yes. Oh, a little bit too high up to get the jump dust. Okay, it looks like, looks like Hyperstar has kind of found his rhythm, gets the tap dust, and just like that, ties it up at 1-1. Yeah, we have a lot of uh, a lot of really really strong competitors from previous weeks in there. We got Blue Heck in there, of course. We got Wonton, Mimi. We got Hiho and Sundari. Both are in there. Red Eye, I'm not, of course, there every week. We got Saint in there. A lot of a lot of all really strong players. Love to see it. Kensei's in there as well. I really don't know who's gonna make top six, and that's the most exciting week. So when you have no idea who's actually gonna qualify for that top cut. Because at the end of the day, it all comes down to who's playing better tonight. Nothing else really matters. Uh-oh. Hey. Okay, not choosing to take the hard knockdown. All right. Okay, break the wall with Sun Void. Only needs a, a, a sliver of life. There you go. Nice and easy. Nothing to worry about. Here okay, tries to turn it into another mix-up, but misses a little bit. Looks like Resto is actually having a bit of trouble understanding what's happening uh, between the Zato. The Zato Eddie sandwich situation and with another perfect hyperstar showing that he's figured something out. Something has been figured out. This is looking night and day different from that game one. And so now Restro is going to have to adjust right back. All right, back in we go. Hey, hey. Another just amazing start from Hyperstar, just not letting up in the slightest. And it's not a perfect, but it has been full control for Hyperstar. Finds himself on set point. And managed to get the burst away from Restro as well. So if he gets that one opening, Restro gonna have a really hard time defending, especially without meter for super. Command grab comes through. Eddie is here. Top dust. Combo. Oh, tried to windshield wiper, but alas, not enough. And invite to hell catching the backdash hyperstar will take the set. Three to one. Nice. All right, Eno versus Amelia. We're gonna see a lot of mix-ups, ladies and gentlemen. Time to hold some shit. Okay, burst comes out from both early. Mo super momentum-based matchup. You want to put your opponent on their back as soon as possible. Get those mix-ups started, so that they can't get their mix-up started. Okay, looks like Zoro. Big advantage here. Bad Moon RC. And actually drops the combo. Okay, so Pink Rain getting a little room to work with. Okay, run that. Another mix. It's the overhead. Super available. Is it enough? It is. Nice round from Pink Rain. Mmm, stroke underneath the 6P. Oh, the, the note actually didn't hit. <laughs> 
It, a little awkward sometimes. A little bit of a sour note. Okay, nice 6P. Zoro has a bar, so can force a situation if he really wants to. Yeah, that 6P seems to be the lead most of the time for Zoro on these approaches. Another mix. And doesn't super, so actually one more chance for Pink Green in this round. Both BRC. Nice back dash. You might have to actually spend your burst to survive, yeah. And gets the JP. That was looking scary, though. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, nice. Almost coming up on another bar, and that's going to be the game. Oh, wait. Went for wall slump. It had bar to kill, but I think eventually ended up getting just it, it wanted to extend their opponent's pain just a little bit. I could have killed you, but I'm going to run a wall slump mix up just to let you know I have that in the back pocket. Just, just so you don't get comfortable. We'll be game one to pink rain. In character, it'd be like that. It'd be like that. Dual one. All right, game two. And it looks like Pink Rain is really trying to press that throw on Wake Up quite a lot. Seen them blow blown up for it a few times already. A whole lot of 6 P's coming out. Just kind of feeling out the neutral here. But, knocked down without burst. Now you have to hold some mix. Okay, actually defends the overhead but doesn't move in time. And so, through the wall you go and round going to Pink Rain. And unfortunately, like I said before, Pink Rain still has that burst available, so your first mix-up doesn't actually mean all that much, unfortunately. Okay, nice challenge, but hair car on block, oh no. Unfortunate. I actually got the string to work, but the hair car was too far away to combo. Ah, uh, and safe jumps. The burst as well. Game two. The pink rain as well. Just all the momentum in the world. Zoro has got to try to figure something out here. Is Nep here? Uh, I've not seen Nep in chat for a bit, so probably not. If I were to guess. Dual one. All right, Zoro. No more games to give. Got to get in and get this this offense started. Okay, good chase. Oh, three overheads. The three amigos. Oh no, stroke underneath the button. Uh oh, this is not looking good. And that's death. It just seems like every mix up from Pink Rain is landing. And when that happens against an Eno or Amelia, for that for that matter, it's gonna feel very, very difficult to win. Oh my god, three strokes in a row. A little bit of trolling maybe going on. Okay, it's a cross up, catches the back dash. There's a throw. All right, all right. Show us some mix ups. Not true off a grab. Nice 5P though. And block. But choose to take the knockdown. Could have probably killed there, but it's looking good. Into another mix. Nice 6P. No dive kick for you. Uh oh, Pink Rain with the hold up. Nice. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Zoro get, gets things back in order just a little bit. 
try to get a handle on this. Pink Rain is going to get a burst this round, though. Which is unfortunately bad news for Zora. Wow, he stroke there? Is it get <laughs> That was insane. Is it death? Oh, he decides to run another wall slump mix. Stroke into RC, and that's gonna be it. Oh wait! Dust off the mark. Yeah. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Alright. 3-0 for pink rain. Eno. Eno. Dual one. All right, and we go. Both of these are really strong players. It's gonna be a six set. Yep, frame kills. Nice jump. We guess correct on the strike throw. Nice catch on the back dash. That's kind of the blue hex special. We'll ride the lightning. Mm hmm. He probably taught him how to do that. Oh, nice PR PRC. That was in the nick of time. That would have been a fat counter hit. Nice 6H. Are we going to burst for this round? Maybe fireball. Nice block. Oh, tried to do it to him with the double overhead. Nice back dash. Okay, Kensei. Gonna get round one. What's the usual amount of wins you need for top cut? There's no answer to that because it's completely dependent on everyone else and how much they're playing and how well they play. <laughs> uh, you can check the, uh, if you go to the, uh, if you go to the tournament page and click on the event, it should show you the leaderboard though. You can check it at all times. And, and you can use that information to kind of gauge if you, if you want to take that route. But it is top six this week, so a little bit more leeway. Oof, stomped on his J's. That's disrespectful. Disrespectful to step on your father's shoes like that. Come on, bro. Okay, nice, big counter hit. Luhek still holding on to that burst. Okay, get six speed, but escapes the corner. Like you're almost willing to take that to escape the corner pressure. Wow, that actually made contact on the back of his hurt box. It didn't look like it was gonna hit him at all. It looked like it whiffed, but Kensei. Get game one. I'm very surprised that, that hit him like that. That was crazy. Uh oh. Is GG having issues? Dual one. Let's rock. All right, back in for game two. Kente definitely getting these mixed up to land. Oh my god, that's unfortunate. Blue like already committed. Ends up dropping the punish for it, but we got offense going. Oh no, back dash in the throw. Not where you want to be. Pretty even on life. Both have a bar to work with. Nice. Clips him low. Another one. These throws from Kensei are terrorizing. Nice reaction. RC to slow it down. Knows he can get the DP guaranteed. Nice. 6P. We lost casual to K-pop. <laughs> My man is insanely late, but... Oh, gold burst blocked. Why is he... The get situation gets him. Wow, that was crazy. What a scramble at the end of the round. Them dudes talented? Yeah, I mean, have you never tried to listen to? to other cultures music or is this like your first time venture 
a lot of really great shit out there if you're willing to listen, you know? <laughs> nice tech. Two bars on Kente Zen, though. This is terrifying. Nice. Get there. Whoa! That's illegal. That's illegal. That is good. Alright, Blue Hex gonna tie it up. Sorry, I'm dealing with a dispute in Discord. Just give me a sec. Gatterall? Assuming, assuming GG can actually handle what I'm trying to do here. All right, Kente going up two to one. This is crazy back and forth, man. If only only oh yeah it's it's looking it's looking tough out here hey okay, scambolini just entered okay okay let me refresh this real quick and then, then we should be good to dial back into the match as long as this doesn't go off okay yep all right we're back in there back in there mankind knew that they duel one all right game four Blue Heck a little bit on the back foot. And really, Kente has just done a really great job of like matching the aggression. Like we know for Blue Blue Heck for having such great offense on the sin, rushing down, but Kente is really just keeping Blue Heck, uh, Blue Heck on the back foot. Oh, your smoke. That actually didn't do as much damage as I thought it would. Unfortunate. Mmm, another one. All right, two clean confirms. Dual two. Let's rock. Hey, hey, hey. Someone's getting grounded after this set. <laughs> Come on, bro. And what world is Sin able to ground Kai? Nice tech. Both have a bar. Stun Dipper RC, of course, the classic. And a late wire. So you have a long way to go here, Blue Heck. You need to get a hit and you need to get it now. If you don't want this to go to a round three. 
Nice. I like that. Dash forward. Just to make sure he was in range. Uh-oh. Is this how it starts? Clips him low, but actually doesn't get the combo. But Burst comes out anyway. Uh-oh. This is looking tough. Is this going to be enough to kill? It's close. No. One more chance for Kente. Trying to bait out that 6P. Using air dash back. Trying to establish that fireball game. Oh! Oh! That was so unfortunate! He, wow, that was crazy. He RC'd partway through the Fuja arc, baited out the gold burst, and then tried to air throw, but was a little bit too far away. Kai was actually facing the wrong way. <laughs> I think his momentum was going too far in the other direction to get the throw. And Blue Heck able to get the mash, and we're tied up. We're going to game five. Very appropriate for a set like this. Wouldn't, wouldn't want to have it any other way. Oh, big counter hit stomp. And we get to test Kensei's defense. How are you going to escape? He gets clipped. And we're going to take the hard knockdown. Okay, stagger strings. Yep. And with the perfect blue heck on set point. Can't say gotta have a, a clean round in the back to force this to a last round situation. Oh, anti air close slash. That's a way to get it started. Okay. I'm gonna take the wall break off of this and the shock state. Means Fudra Arc is a big threat here. Oh, wow. Big driver from so far gets overheaded. Not the most damage off of this, though, so... Yeah, there's that, that tried and true. Backdash into back throw. Okay, DP comes out. Blue Heck believing he can win this round. And it's starting to look possible. Continuation, it's not death. Both have burst and a sliver of life. Kensei has a bar. Gets clipped low. Has to burst. Oh! Gets the 2K. I think that Blue Egg thought it was going to be a grab. And we're going to the last round, ladies and gentlemen. Blue Heck with that burst advantage. Could be key. Huge damage coming out early. Oh my god. What the hell was that? We're pulling the plug. But I don't want any part of that. That's going to be it. Overhead confirm. And that's been... That was the tried and true this entire set. Blue Heck. 3-2. to two, A 6 set with Kensei. But it will Duel one. Let's rock. And honestly, crazy, crazy enough, first time I've seen someone play this Bridget color. Wow. I always starting off strong as well. Like, nah, we're, not, we're not wasting any time here. Another matchup all about the mix up. Okay, nice movement from Kiri. That was sick. Run it again. Mm -hmm. Okay, super to break the wall, get the hard knockdown. Oh, he has the bar to work with though. Nice YRC, yeah. Wow, that hit. I thought that Kiri was gonna make it behind. Nice. Close slash on the anti-air. The slowdown. Giving enough time to see what's going on. Burst comes out from Aoi. Believes he can win this round. Oh, it's a scramble though. And yeah, unfortunately, even after spending that burst, first round, gonna go to Kiri. Mix up. Okay, good blocks and trying to FD. <laughs> FD, carry FD for their life. Like, does not want to hold this. <laughs> Get me out, is what that is saying. You're still locked in. Uh oh. Okay, party time. Another throw. Okay. 
Nice, DPRC, yep. Is something that Milia always has to worry about in this matchup. Okay. Nice blocks, but gets thrown. Again, we're kind of stuck in this situation. Yeah, that's not true. And, oh, wow, how often do you see that move close out a round? How, how often do you see that move used, let alone to close out a round? <laughs> the Roger dive kick. Yeah. The ground power. Okay, goes low. Ends up dropping the combo, though. Here he gets a little bit of wiggle room. Nice beat, but doesn't get the counter hit. Wasn't fast enough, but it's mix up time. Burst is available. Was looking for it, but not that time. All right, no more mistakes for Aoi Kaifer. Cannot afford to take any more damage if she wants to win this game. But unfortunately, Kiri shuts the door on game one. You know, the crazy part is, Sixa, is that we've had an absurd amount of Milia players be around as of late as well. I don't know if you noticed that, but it's been a lot of Milias. They all, they're all like, it is my time. Duel one. Let's rock. All right, game two. Oh, wait, already finds herself back to corner. Gotta fight your way out a little bit. Why the Milius dogs go? I have no idea. I have no clue. But, uh, you know. <laughs> they're, they're getting ready to rain terror on the Evo bracket. That's the real reason. Okay, I only need one more hit here for Aoi. YRC. Yeah, wow! I He actually did make it to the other side too, but unfortunately was already dead. <laughs> this is a really, really awkward hit on DP. Okay, leaves with 6 p.m. Oh, I want you to stay here. Duh, not close enough to get the close slash follow up. That JH has been causing Aoi quite a lot of problems. Okay, YRC. I want to turn. Thank you very much. Nice finesse. Rolling movement. Canceled out of it and went into the dive kick to bait out an anti air. But once again, needs another hit. Did not have super meter to close off that round. Anything will do it for Aoi. Oh, lot nice. Stops the air momentum with the super, baits out the air to air attempt, and that will be tied up at one to one. I feel like that's one of those things that always feels awful to get hit by. It's like one of those things like, damn, I'm trying to, I'm trying to air to air. I'm trying to, you know, cut off some aerial movement and you just get rogered. All right, tied up at 1-1. One, one. Let's see what the adjustment is from Kiri. Okay, get mixed up. You're not the only girl with mix around here. Yeah, another bait. Trying to get Kiri to bite on that, that anti-air. Kiri doesn't this time and actually gets a 6p. This is doable. Gets a knockdown. Nice block on the same side. No punish though on 2k2d. But the dark again. I don't know what it is, but this move is hitting. Is it? <laughs> this move has been hitting this set. Roger is getting a lot of screen time. Oh no, it gets back thrown. This is the worst situation in Guilty Gear Strive. Getting back thrown into the corner. That's actually a lot of damage because there wasn't that many hits before this splat. And Aoi cruising here. Only needs one more hit to close out the game. And just like that, a convincing game from Aoi. Puts the second one on the board. Mm. 
<laughs> I was like, like I said, like I, I feel like it's not a move that you see Bridget's use all that often, because I don't think it's really considered that strong. But for for whatever reason, it's look, looking very, very difficult to deal with this set. Dual one. Any anything that changes your air trajectory can be, you know, kind of used for finesse. Opened up. Another one goes high, gets the hit. No super. Probably would have killed on that one, but decides to save the meter for the BRC, gets the hit. And Kiri doesn't even want to bother spending burst, knowing that very, very difficult to bring back that round. And just like that, Aoi Kaifer on set point. Okay, nice chase. Kiri not giving up. We'll charge just to break the wall. No hard knockdown here, though, so kind of have to play that neutral again. Okay, nice gets the hit. And uses the RC to set up the mix up. All right. And both uh, perfect. You perfect me, I perfect you right back. Don't worry about it. And both gonna have burst. The burst situation gonna matter a lot in this third round. Eight, eight. Beautiful. Wall break, but once again, not a hard knockdown. So, are we going to get a chance to wiggle? Almost has that bar for RC. Not quite there yet. Oh, no. Eats a JH. Cash is out early, but still not enough. Has another bar post knockdown, though. Run up. Gets thrown. Back thrown into the corner. We talked about the situation. This is not where you want to be. Actually, he's going to catch the 2K. But it doesn't hit all the way. Okay, I've never seen that. I've never seen that. Milia falling out of super because it was like absolute max range after hitting the, the 2k. That is just unfortunate if you're an Aoi Kaifer fan. We're going to game five. That was, uh, yeah, that's a new one. That's a, can't say I've seen that one before. Yeah, that, that's just a that's a tough break, cause there's no there's no way you could like know that that's gonna happen, right? Like, <laughs> not really. Okay. Oh, PRC comes out. Okay, uh, kind of an awkward conversion. Gets a few hits, but not the big combo damage you're looking for there. Yeah, that Vix has been hitting, but burst it into the corner. Nice choice from Aoi. Smoke. Another mix? Are we going to get to kill? No, no way this kills. Into another mix, though. YRC, I want to turn. Oh, and the command grab. The first time we're seeing it all set. And puts Aoi on set point yet again. Yeah, and these JHs from Kiri have been terrorizing this entire set. Oh, nice block. Aoi still has that burst. You want to spend it on this round though? Probably not. Just burns the wire. See you. Uh-oh, the mix is starting to come out. Kiri does not have burst. If they can hit, what a catch, but not enough to get the follow-up. All right, we're going to the final round. And both going to have burst. Down to the absolute wire. Okay. Another one. Okay, good block, but catches the backdash. Aoi trying to escape. 
Kiri trying to stay on there. Nice block on Bad Moon. My turn. Oof. Get off of me. Put her right back into this corner. Doesn't get the splat off of that, but not bad positioning. Uh-oh. Just as I say that. Are we considering burst here? We do. Kiri still has that burst in case something goes wrong. Nice tech. Aoi defending right now. She's doing her absolute best to stay mobile. Trying to not be predictable. Nice call out with the dive kick. Neither have a bar to work with. Gets the grab though and now we have a bar. Another grab. Burst comes out. One bar to Aoi's name and that's all. PRC into grab. The meter advantage proving pivotal. Aoi Kaifer will take the set three to two, a six set. I told y'all. <laughs> the millions are everywhere, man. I'm telling you. This one definitely a little tough. If Millie is able to get in and get the knockdowns, it's not as bad, but of course, range advantage, damage advantage, all that gonna definitely be in Nago's end. Nice. Kiho staying on top right now. How are you gonna defend? Nice blocks from Wonton, but presses and gets counter hit. It's gonna be a clean round one with a perfect. One thing about Wonton is last time we saw Wonton in Let's Rock, definitely known for his adaptation. Would go down 0-2 in a set and then make the adjustments and run it all the way back to win. And so, while it may look like he's getting run over right now, that might not be the way things look by the time things end. But right now, Kiho is not letting up in the slightest. Double super combo. Oh, okay. Doesn't need it. The 5P. Kiho just absolutely dominating that game one. Wonton not even getting a chance to play, essentially. He got to play round start and then pretty much nothing afterwards. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, I'm sure sure many people would be able to tell you nightmare stories of how many times they have to hit Nago to win. <laughs> definitely, uh, definitely true to that statement. Wow, what a 6P. Okay. Just like I said before, Wonton already making that adjustment. Gets the first clean hit. Party time. Yep, late RC, and that's going to be the round. Look at that. Just like that. How quickly your life bar can evaporate against this character. Especially when they're making some good reads. Nice, wow. Okay, this jump does <laughs> causing Heo some issues right now. Hold on. Was this the answer to the matchup the entire time? Okay, Heho. Not gonna go down without a fight though. Two bars, bust out super. And actually gets it to land as well. Okay. Wonton. Yeah, two two jump dust is call outs, just such long range, especially whenever. Especially whenever you're ever to make contact with like a Millia Ford dash, you know, they like to hang out up there in the in the skies. I don't think I've ever seen a Nago really try to abuse it like that, but hey, it works. You saw it. All right, just like that, it's tied up. We'll see what adjustments both of them can make to each other. Got two games worth of data. Oh no, outrange the burst, but no punish. So Hiho, a little bit of a sigh of relief. That burst is gonna be maximum cooldown, but yeah, there's the jump dust again, jeez. And of course it wall bounces on hit, so it's like, Eat a ton of damage for getting called out like that. 
Nice mix. Bursted into the corner, though. Nice grab, yeah. Nago's grab range, but drops the follow-up, actually. Heho gets another chance. Has a bar, too. Into a mix. It's not enough. You need another one. Nice catch on the back dash. Nice. From Heho into a last mix. Look at that. What a comeback in that round from Heho. That was looking horrible. Okay, stays in front, carries to the corner. Nago gonna get a chance to wiggle. No hard knockdown on the wall break. The block, Lush Shaker. Oh wow! After the after the trade or the clash. Uh oh, but Wanton's in. Gets the 5k. Gets the splat. Doesn't choose to spend the super. Maybe thought he couldn't get close enough to get the cinematic hit. Oh, that was life comes at you quick, but unfortunately, Heho moving a little bit too fast for his own good. Here comes the super from Nago. I don't think it's enough. Actually, it might be. Now you're you're dead, huh? No, just barely. Okay, two bars on Heho's end and burst. YRC spent but blocked. Wanton, smelt that one from a mile away. Okay, tried to get the command grab, but looked like it was either a little too far away or Heho was still in block stun. Okay, far slash challenge. Bad Moon starting to come out. Has a bar as well. Okay, gets the grab. Mix time. I like that choice to extend with the RC just to make sure we get an airtight mix up. But unfortunately, Burst comes out from Wonton until Nago gets the play. Actually hits him with the third slash Rekka. Almost caused Heo's doom. Off of the pickup. Nice jump. Smelled out the command grab. Is it enough to kill? No. Has to go for a mix. YRC comes out from Wonton. Next hit win situation. Ah, the dash in to the ground. Wonton gonna get it. And really, that entire end sequence just comes down to like how difficult it can be sometimes. Like Milia has to hit Nago so many times. Nago living through it all with the, with a small amount of health. But as long as you're alive, it doesn't matter how much health you have. Wonton goes up two to one. Hiho not playing badly in the slightest, but man, some of these tense situations. It's scary out here. Oh, nice. Gets the up slash and gets the burst too. This is terrifying if you're a Hiho fan. Oh no, Bite comes through as well. Good luck. Actually whiffed the tap dust, but was ready with the RC afterwards for the follow-up. Okay, nice. It's the counter hit. And burst into the corner as well. Wonton definitely wants to close this out here and now, but... Heho able to get out, but gets put right back in. <laughs> there is no escape from this corner. Hey. Okay, YRC. Oh no, it gets a close slash, and that's gonna be it. Wonton. Gonna take the set three to one. Heho. Pridefully fought, but unfortunately, that adjustment from Wonton. Last week. Definitely looking for some redemption. Unfortunately, did lose that last set to Red Eye. I am not. So it is going to be very difficult. 
Oh, it was fifth place last week. Gonna be difficult to recover, but maybe we'll get the style a little bit on stream. Oh, nice catch. Uh oh. Yeah, we got the good combos around here. That was gonna end with a pop buster as well. Okay, nice. Gets the dive kit. A little bit of reverse hitbox shenanigans. Nice 6P. Has the heat knuckle behind too. Is that enough? No, not quite. Close round. That is a punish. Time to guess. Oh, gets a counter hit on sweep. That should be it. As long as there isn't a drop. No! Potemkin so bulky, man. I thought it was going to wall splat, but it didn't. And the guts paying dividends for pot. He needs it. Okay, gets the knockdown. Roku, what's up? How you doing? Hmm. Nice pickup. Can always count on A Boy's conversions being clean. Living. That's a good start. Nice. Bates off the hammer fall. Can we get a mix here though? Oh, it gets armored through and that's gonna be death. Hey boy, game one. Also, I just noticed that, okay, so we have we have new sponsor tags here. A-Boy is now a part of New Head. And Pink Rain. <laughs> Pink, Pink Rain sponsor tag is hilarious. All right, Gold Burst. This super is terrifying now, bro. Oh, nice, nice. Made you look. Throws him right into it. Oh my god. Goodbye, friend. Unfortunately, though, it scales like shit, so. <laughs> Still alive, but someone can clip that for me, please. Uh oh, party time for Pink Rain. Just needs one hit, gets the stroke. That's the round. So even after that sick conversion, <laughs> Pink Rain still gets the round. Yeah, hammer fall through chemical love seems to be a really, really big issue. It's happened a few times this set already. Gonna put her in the blender. Oh, he tried. Nice. Max range knockdown. Plus frames. Nice. Gets a big counter hit. You gotta watch that slide hit. That, that hammer fall through the chemical love has been causing a lot of problems. Tries to get the throw, but back dash from A-Boy. Gonna put it, put it in the mix. Mmm, tap dust. One of the cheapest tap dust there is in the game. Okay. Oh no! That okay. Now you have to guess again. That was cheap. Such an unfortunate situation to get put in. But you gotta guess sometimes. He is a grappler after all. Nice. And the top dust again. Game two also going to go to a boy. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Dual 
Hey, hey. He gets a splat, but still not the best of situations here. Oh no, back thrown by a Potemkin, no less. He eats the Gerudo. Maybe was expecting burst, so didn't Buster, but I got one. I still got one waiting for you. Don't worry. In case you were wondering where it was at, it's right there. Okay, back Mega Fist. Yep, Kara Garuda. Such a, an oppressive pressure tool. Okay, another back Mega Fist. Choosing the burst. Nice, got the IB there. <laughs> the last possible second. Oh, they're scrapping. These trades are not in your favor, though, because it's Potemkin. Hey, okay, YRC. And actually caught. Oh, but back, Mega Fist. Will be 3 0 for A Boy. A hard fought 3 0, but a 3 0 nonetheless. Some people will jump for joy when I say things like that. Okay, great actually in Hiyo's favor, gets to maintain pressure a little bit. Okay, trying to get that air to air, but nice. Gets a knockdown afterwards, you're gonna get corner carry. Tap dust, slump time. Okay, nice fuzzy button. Wasn't confident in it very much, but was actually correct. Okay, stays on the same side. Mixed up time. Are we going to super to break the wall here? We are winger. A hard knockdown, but soft bullet with a bar. Almost two. Nice mix. And gets the bad move. Doesn't have to worry about... YRC, I actually was almost positive YRC was going to come out there, but... Hey, hey. Okay, super focus. He's definitely out. Oh, nice movement. Oh! <laughs> Stop bullet having trouble keeping up. Nice. Three close slashes. <laughs> Estering on block. I'm trying to see if he can get Hiho to commit to like trying to throw tech or something, but not biting. Oh, nice jump dust over the top though. Out of bullets though, so it won't be death and Hiho gets the grab. This could be bad news. Double air dash, another mix. Okay. Saw bullet stand solid, but has to eat another mix. Just barely got the meter for that PRC. Back to the original side. And tapped us? Maybe was trying to grab, but blocks the bad moon. The clutch block from soft bullet. The most clutch of blocks. Hey. Okay. PRC to stay back in. Oh, but a missed time on the, the throw. This could be real bad. How will you defend? Yep. Oh, actually lets him out of the corner with the capital though. Blesses the legs. No burst available for soft bullet either. Has to hold these. Nice block. Gets grabbed. 
Nice. Another great block on Bad Moon. Two for two. <laughs> Running away while trying to lock on. <laughs> oh, was a little too... A little mistimed on that grab, and Heho is actually going to run away with game one. That was... uh. It looked pretty silly at the end there. Cannot lie. Tough out here. No one is making it easy for each other in this ladder, bro. It is nothing but... <laughs> nothing but brutalization. Okay, nice. Forces the burst out early and gets a nice clean hit. That's what Chaos is love. And gets the curse on. Roll mix up. First time we're seeing it this set. No bullets left though. But doesn't matter. It's a regular old BRC mix up. Doesn't need any bullets. Eight, eight. Okay, it's the grab. Nice. Goes high. Doesn't. Oh, wow. Never mind. I was going to say it doesn't kill, but I lied. I'm sorry. I lied. I lied. I didn't think she'd die. That bullet fucking chunked, bro. My bad. I guess I should know better. This is this, is this character that we're dealing with. I did not think that was going to kill him. It's a <laughs> Dual one. Let's rock. Damn, it's like that, Ivan. Oh no, double shot. Okay, roll mix up. Hey. Mm, mm, mm. You are dead, madam. Deus ex machina. Also, I don't know what it is they did with the shading effect on Chaos's jacket on this color, but that shit is dope. <laughs> That shit is dope. Oh, okay. Eho trying to stay in there. You're like, you're not getting away from me, bro. I got mix ups to run. Nice. Empty jump grab. Okay, go slow. Maybe caught a 6P there. Soft bullet was like, I've had enough with you jumping and trying to 6P. Gets blessed. On the legs, gets the close slash. Okay, that's the type of route Heho needs. Dual three. Let's rock. Glow in the dark coolant. I I my head cannon was that he used his, his magic because like when his block animation is like a a glowing green smiley face. And so I'll, uh, my headcanon is that he used his magic to make this effect. Just because he wanted to look cool. Uh oh, this is looking bad. I don't know if this is enough. Probably is, it's chaos. Life. Still has some meter to FD. You gotta make a move though, Heho. You're running out of space on the screen to work, and that's all your meter. And just as you let go of FD, the bullet comes through. Soft bullet. It's gonna go up two to one. And I also think I think this week is the mo uh, the highest percentage we've had um, 
actually participate in the ladder because of course you can sign up but you're not obligated to play any games but i think only three or four people didn't play any sets that signed up so Mankind knew that pretty sick Duel one. Let's rock. wow <laughs> okay behind the back Yeah, Hiho is definitely fighting, but this is a tough matchup. And Soft Bullet is also making some great decisions right now. Hey. Okay. Nice tech. Yeah, get the hell out of that corner. Nice catch with JS. Have to stay on him, though. YRC is going to come into play here. Potentially has a bar get mixed though. Never even get the chance to wire so you just get straight up mixed. Dual two. Let's rock. Oh, I didn't believe in the 2K. Got the hit, but hits only mean so much. The knockdown is what we're here for. Nice. Gets the JK. Another mix. Nice block. Honestly, Soft Bullet has had some really, really clutch blocks. On some of these mix ups. Okay. Nice tech. YRC. I want to turn. Uh, unfortunately, not to not able to combo that into the knockdown that he was looking for. Nice counter poke, that 2K, bro. That DLC 2K, something else. Hijo trying to slow down a little bit. Nice, nice. Knows that he has to press another button on the follow up after hitting clone, and now mix up city. Another one. Is it enough to kill? No. Man, that spot so early. Need another clean hit here, and gets it. We're going to game five. He ho Also, a quick reminder, as the ladder is coming to a close, as long as you're matched up with someone, by the time the queue closes, you're free to play it out to completion. We're not going to hard stop you in the middle of a set uh, whenever 9 o'clock rolls around, but you won't be able to queue anymore after 9 strikes. So please make sure you get your last sets and games in. And of course, thank everyone for uh, entering the ladder this week. It's the most popular. We've almost put almost 200 sets have been played tonight. Really keep that in mind. <laughs> almost 200 sets of Guilty Gear. That's incredible. And we're not done yet. Top six is coming up, but these two fighting for their lives right now. I think they might actually be in the running. It's a little close. He ho. Yeah, they're both the same record, actually. Is a chance to break into top six potentially. I don't know with how everyone else's scores are gonna go, but not completely out of the running. Hiho gets the first round. Uh oh, six p. Has the bar to work with. Yeah, that quick RC low hits just about everyone we see Hiho play against. And this momentum is rolling right now. Gets the wall break positive bonus. Stop bullet has one bar to work with. Three bullets. Trade. Anything will do it here for Hiho. Bad Moon blocked again. Stop bullet refuses to lose rounds to Bad Moon. PRC forward, but already active on the 2P hitbox. Hiho will clutch it out. It did go 3 2 to Tensorials direction so north kid looking for a little bit of revenge here okay roll mix up doesn't land hmm eight and sorry trying to force force their way in right now but getting locked down by the bullet oh tapped us off the mark but it's chaos, so you still have to guess. Hmm, all these grabs. Putting hands on her. Let's 
<laughs> People in the Discord chat cracked me up, Jesus. Oh, I actually have to fix something real quick before we go on. But as I say that, game one, convincing the North Kid. Is this going to be the revenge tour? Oops. Wrong side. Duel one. I don't know why, but it's always funny to me whenever <laughs> when, when they get the uh, the song that is just the the loading the loading music. Okay, RCN. Oh, nice challenge. Definitely knows. That is not real. Oh no, <laughs> the. Con <laughs> The combo state was so high, like, couldn't even combo off of it. <laughs> Swung a little bit too early and ended up missing. I hate to see it. Yeah, out of bullets there, but it doesn't matter. Chaos, recovery. You guys know how it goes. Okay. Nice block. And now you earn this hit. Okay, trade. And that stand jab has actually been getting a ton done for North Kid. Oh, and GOH for Tensori. I forgot their spawn. Okay. Okay. That was good. Setting up a wall thump mix up, but Gold Birds comes out from North Kid, and now. You have so little meter, it's going to be very difficult to come back in the roll mix-up. 2-0 for North Kid. Like we said before, Tensorial was undefeated in the ladder. 9-0 and zero in sets, but North Kid looking to put a blemish on that perfect record. Tensorial just ran, ran man over that round though. Not really a whole lot to say, Psycho Crusher. All right. Tensorial might be adjusting a little bit here. Suddenly these mix-ups are starting to land. Those five Ps are not coming out from North Kid. And he's like, you know, let me. <laughs> I, I beat this guy before. Let me pull myself together here. I'm not ready to go down like this. It's July 18. Duel one. Let's rock. Oh, nice. And forced the burst early. But now. We mix. Oh wow, that was awkward as hell. Stroke hitting the clone, <laughs> RC'd out of it, and then went for like a char uh, fully charged dust. Ah uh, yeah, back backdash back throw. We saw <laughs> earlier Kensei versus Blue Hex. 
it seemed like Tensei got every single back dash into back throw. Yeah, it went for a BRC mix up, but Tensorio was long gone. But I'm not trying to hold that. And only one round away from forcing a game five after going down two and zero. Yeah, just close slash pressure. Now you gotta guess? Yeah, that shit is cheap. <laughs> that shit is cheap. Oh, punish on YRC. Wait a minute. Suddenly this becomes doable. You're at a pixel life, but that doesn't matter if he never gets the swing. Okay, YRC comes out. This should be pretty easy to tap in here. Oh, wait. It clipped on the way out, though. Tensorial. Oh, tried to get the gold burst off the mark, and unfortunately, you burned your burst. You're not going to have it for this round. I get it. In that moment, you're like, damn, I could just win right here and right now. But off the mark, but gets a burst bait on North Kid, so not so horrible now. Okay, 6P has a bar as well. Is this going to be enough? Not quite. Not quite. North Kid needs to get something started now if he wants to prevent this game five from happening. Okay, that's a start. Roll mix up. You have to worry about bust out super from, you know. Nice. Oh, I'm, I'm still in there. Where are you going? I still got, still got something to say to you. Okay, but it will be a game five tensorial hanging on. After an RC battle, just RCing after each other. Duel one. Let's rock. All right, game five. Game fives against Chaos, terrifying though. Just one, one tap dust, one roll mix up. This makes life so much more difficult. Nice, 6P. Wall slump. It's gonna be the round. Hey, just getting that Eno pressure started. Was actually out of focus there, North Kid was, so horrible situation to be in. Has it back now, but has to hold all of this. This is harassment. It finally gets the wire feed, be able to create a little bit of space, but a really big life deficit. And by really big life deficit, I mean two clean hits for Chaos here. Is what he would need to come back, but it's not going to be so. So we go to the last round of the last game. Oh, nice. Quick RC jab. Catching the movement. Both are going to have burst. Oh my god. Wow, <laughs> Tensorio tried to finesse, gets a gold burst though. Gonna be able to punish that 6P. Burst comes out from North Kid, and the worst possible thing you can do right now is get caught by a gunshot, but Tensorial's in. Has a meter as well, want to force a mix up on block. Is it enough? It is. Tensorial brings it back and takes the set three to two after being down. Punches their ticket to winner's final. Wins. Good time watching. Duel one. Mm -mm. Thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it. And we're off to the races. Wonton. One of the best at adaptation I've, I've seen in these tournaments, honestly. This guy knows how to take in some data and make the adjustments. But 
Sometimes you gotta guess. <laughs> like you just did. Nice. Big damage. Not enough to kill, but Wonton pretty much not gonna want to spend burst. Nice anti-air with 5p. Oh, you know what? It's actually going to be... <laughs> if it's a tie, we don't have to worry about that. But red, clean game one. Okay. But like I said before, you got to watch out, man. Wonton, Wonton be paying attention. Be paying attention. There is merit in killing your opponent so fast that they don't have time to... <laughs> to get any type of data, though. Was that fast enough for that to be the case? I'm not sure. Okay, so... Duel one. Let's rock. I just... We just gold person? Okay. That is the gold Lewis special after all. Yeah, we don't care about that. Oh, it actually doesn't reach. I thought it was going to get clipped by the very last hit, but... <laughs> okay, burn it down again. Yeah, it doesn't respect Thunderbird, but not the most punishment to come from that. Nice with punish. Everything just seems to be going so well for Red right now. Looking very clean. Not making many incorrect decisions. Wonton cranks the blood meter at the start of this round. Goes for bite, but a little too telegraphed. Red... Knows that Naga wants that bite. Oh, yeah. PRC in there, force the situation. Another overhead lands, but. Finally gets a challenge opportunity. Burst comes out from red. Belize, he can win this round. Yeah, Super Pure is going to get grabbed. <laughs> you can RC all you want. You can RC all you want. Right into my waiting arms. Okay, knockdown. Wonton with a life lead, but that blood gauge is not looking so great. Oh, I think just block. That is the case. Just takes the flash record for the blood depletion, but that's going to be it. Doesn't even need the super. Wonton tying it up. The guide. It's been a while, brother. Man. <laughs> Hope you've been well. Let's rock. Jump dust. The money button from Gold Lewis. When in doubt, jump dust will probably get you out of a bad situation. Uh oh. Okay. Burst comes out. Red has a bar. Decides to spend it on burn it down. Gets the counter hit. Can we get forward far enough? No. Actually wasn't able to move fast enough to escape the laser. Okay. 
And Red definitely used his burn it down the most I've seen of any gold Lewis. Okay, staying solid. Not getting opened up, but you eat so much chip holding these mixes. Oh. Empty jump overhead. Yeah, I've been living. I'm going my best out here. That's all I can do, right? Oh, I actually missed this. Oh, that could have been bad. Wanton didn't take the knockdown, though. Nice. They're trying to wait it out. Stuck in this corner. The edge of the spin hit. Yeah, anything will do it. This is a grab. Round three. A very important game. To establish who's going to go up in this set. Hey. Uh-oh. Wanton in a bit of trouble. Has burst, but might not even get to use it, but the way things are going. Nice. Ready for it. Really just scoped out the jump in. I know you're going to jump. I'm just going to wait there and be ready. It paid dividends. Wanton going to go down. Red going up two to one in the set. <laughs> and I'm I'm noticing some uh some anti wanton sentiment out here. What, what's going on? What's going on with this? Is this some lore I missed? Like what? <laughs> what's up with the anti wanton <laughs> brigade? What's going on? I don't know what happened. <laughs> someone after the latter stage was done was like, all right, someone just beat wanton and I'll be happy. And I'm like, wow. That is that is the level of hatred. <laughs> I respect it, but sheesh. <laughs> he beat you and hurted your feelings. You know what? I, I respect that. I respect that. I respect that. I'm not mad at that. Okay. Guess time. Pressure. Pressure. Wanton only needs one, not even a big hit, just a just a decent hit to get RC out of. Wow, bro, life <laughs> that spin out of RC just happens so fast. Nice, yeah, five each. What a button. Dual two. Let's rock. Oh, gets out before before the Thunderbird. Oh, the gold burst off the mark. Oh, this is trouble for Red. Stuck in this corner. How are you going to escape? No meter to your name either. Okay, Wonton doesn't get the hit though, so not the worst situation. Okay, gets the grab. Nice. Caught a backdash, I believe. That death? It should be. Down with the system. Hmm. Didn't even need the drones. Uh-oh. Back thrown early into the round. You might spend your entire round here. Does that burst, but eats a, a fat overhead. Now you're down below half life. Are you dead on this? That was a one hit splat, but it doesn't land. Oh, that's so unfortunate for red. Uh oh. Are we seeing misfortune play out before our eyes? Close slash anti air. Super cancel immediately. Hard knockdown to come. Is Wonton going to plot armor his way out of this round? Has a bar. Gets the throw, and that's it. Oh. My God, we're going to game five. Just barely off the mark with the down with the system.
I gotta believe that would have killed. It was a one-hit wall splat. I think he definitely would have died to the super, but just ever so slightly out of range. Text off the wall and wins the entire game off of it. All right, we arrive at the final game. If you're red, you definitely can't let that, that last sequence get to you. Guilty Gear happens. Don't ever forget that, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, nice tech. Tried to call something out with 6P, but 2H was ready and waiting. Nice chow, okay. Didn't want to get reset there. Besides the burst, pretty even on life totals. Oh, and I actually got a bite, but did still eat the laser? I don't know if this hits. I don't, because Gold Lewis is so fucking huge. <laughs> oh my god, what is happening this set? Good night, Ivan. Thanks for thanks for being awesome, bro. Appreciate you. All right. Set point for Wonton. Okay, burst comes out, puts the Thunderbird out, but doesn't care. He's from the top rope. Wonton is making all the adjustments. It's not death yet, but Red cannot make any mistakes. And the 2S comes through. Wonton again. We've seen it so many times. Goes down in the. Losers quarters. And I'm curious to see if North Kid is gonna be able to put up with the aggression of Blue Heck. That's really that's really the what comes to mind whenever I see Blue Heck play. Raw aggression offense. Okay, YRC. Down a lot of life, but as we know, Chaos can definitely make things up. Does have to spend some advantage to reload bullets, but out of bullets now, that's just going to be the round. Looking for it. Corner carry off of that. Okie time. Okay, the back dash, but that overhead has hit, been hitting everyone today. In fact, I don't know if I've seen a block today. <laughs> I do not know if I've seen that block today. Six B. Oh, so literally a pixel of life for North Kid. Blue Heck has a bar too. Could even just chip, but 2K comes out. Game one. Who Blue Heck? All right, back in we go. Two S round star, you know, he's like two S round star. He'll never expect that. I'll, I'll go with the tried and true. Uh oh, oh, this is bad news. Burst off the mark. Nice block. I think it was Gatterall that we saw go to that quite a lot. And man, do people get opened up by it. <laughs> nice. The overhead. Hey. Not enough to kill, though. Oh, nice, JP. Doesn't. 
Doesn't convert it. Wasn't able to get six speed on driver. What a sick button six P is. <laughs> this game, right? Okay, nice. Right back at you. Mm, big, big boy combos. Growing boy combos, even. Thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate the support, guys. We're closing in on 9,000 followers. Only 25 away now. Blue Heck starting to rush that shit down. That's what we know them for. Thank you, Wonton. Oof! Step on your J's real quick. But I guess Chaos doesn't have J's on. It's barefoot. That, that shit must hurt. Mm. Any hit will do it for Blue Heck. Nice. Retreating JS. Up 2-0. <laughs> LeBriant, you gotta explain to me where does the wanton hatred come from, bro? <laughs> I gotta know. I need context. That's your son? Oh, bet. Bet. <laughs> oh, okay. It's the good type of hatred then. Mankind. I'm here for it. Alright, North Kid back against the wall, down 2-0. Oh, nice. Gets away from the 6P. Oh, this is horrible news for North Kid. No burst. Finally gets a bar for YRC potentially, but you gotta block. In order to YRC and everything is just landing right now for Blue Heck. Dual two. Let's rock. Hey. Mm -hmm. Hey. Oh, what an awkward trade, but works out in Blue Heck's favor. <laughs> fucking bring tears to your eyes. Hopefully he brings more tears to your eyes when he eventually gets buffed? Question mark? I don't know. I don't know what they're doing over there, you know? <laughs> I don't ask questions anymore. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, bro. That, that move. So disrespectful. I'm gonna just stomp on your toes real quick. Oh my god, that charge does. Blue Heck. Looks like he's gonna close it out. That will be it. 3 0 for Blue Heck. Times at this point. Definitely far from the best matchup for Potemkin. But we've seen A Boy finesse this before. Uh oh, gold burst time. Oh my god, your life bar. Harassment. Okay, get to hammer fall through though. Party time. Hmm. Nice catch. Uh, I don't know what happened here. Okay, he gets there. Invulnerable enough to make it through. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I mean, shit. Nice. Hammer fall through. Party time again. And you might think, like, I'm just going to take the Garuda, but kind of puts you back in a similar situation. These hammer falls are causing problems. That is. Guaranteed pop buster. Mm, and we have meter. Believe he recovers in time. Yep. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. I'll give you that. Good shit, good shit. 
Duel 3. Let's rock. Okay. Nice. A boy really making the most out of PRC right now. Like, we've seen some absolute <laughs> wizardry going on. Okay, backdashes through the close flash, but still kind of stuck in this corner. How are you going to get out? You have burst, but okay, just get that raw jump in. Very fortunate. Burn it down. Actually get the counter hit off the backboard to yourself with the laser. It's going to be game one to red off the back of the super. <laughs> he alley-ooped. <laughs> the, the UFO alley-oop, bro. That's crazy. Oh, what do you say? Something about game audio. Pick the bad song. Oh, can you switch songs, Red? Is the uh, is that like a thing? Is is can you switch songs, Red? Is that possible? I, I don't know what happened. Something something game audio. It was blocked by my character's like speech bubble. I actually couldn't see what exactly he was saying. Mankind knew that they can change society. <laughs> so instead of reflecting. Is this again is it the same one? Let's rock. I don't know. Is there something that I don't know about involving game audio in this song? <laughs> See like I don't I don't know if A Boy was just saying I hate this song or if it was like actually a technical issue because like I said I couldn't see it behind my uh by my character's speech bubble. Oh my god! Okay. It's like that, huh? Thunderbird says no. Hmm. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. A boy's not trying to feel peaceful at all. Oh my god, bro, the laser. You got it. You must respect the laser. Oh, finesse. You're going to guess again for the round. Oh, look like it was a little slow. Ah, Behemoth Typhoon. Sniping out jump dust. It look, looked like a little little bit mistimed on that mix up. That is what Gold Lewis be doing. You're not wrong. Um, who do I, who, do was it? Oh, right, right, right. Let's rock. <laughs> I, I love how there's song counterpick warfare. Oh, 
Oh, this is gonna hurt, buddy. God damn. Oh, tap, tap does not enough to kill. He's too large. Another 60. Just like that. Step point off the back of a uh, song counter pick. For red, I am not. No, we we have birthday train play at least once per tournament. We already had it earlier. <laughs> Someone always does birthday trainer. Hey, nice. Need to stay in there. Oh my god, the preemptive super to stop the RSD pop buster? That was fucked up. That was fucked up. That was fucked up. That was fucked up. Uh, we're burning. But we got it here. Tensorial, still undefeated. Has not lost a set today yet. Is Wonton going to be the one to switch that up? Damn, burst comes out. Relatively early. Nice. Combo off the trade. Privilege. Nice block from Wonton as well. Fakes the high, goes low, it still blocked it. Okay, pops some Blood Rage. Tensorial waits it out. Is it enough? No. Mmm. A nice little overhead on the other side. That's actually the first time I've seen Wonton pop from Blood Rage all tournament. A bit of a miscalculation. Okay, nice. Party time. Two bars as well. Tensorial is going to be able to push this offense so far. If he wants to. Yeah, we're forcing the issue. And these overheads are just pestering right now. <laughs> So many attempts to try to counter poke, but just getting locked down by Ino. Another mix. Another one. Wonton just getting locked out of the game. Guessing wrong on every mix up. Sometimes there are rounds that just feel that way. It feels like every single time you try to guess, they just know. I feel like people would have more, more things to say about this song being selected than that other one. <laughs> then again, it is. It's always. It's always the. Uh, it's always the calm songs that people hate. <laughs> the ones that are chill. Oh, it doesn't get there in time to break the wall. Oh, this is problems. Why is he? Get off of me woman this is problems has bar as well tensorial gets counter hit stroke and yep auto low profile don't have to work that hard for it stroke the big tree is just that good of a move tensorial going up two to zero 
Wonton running out of time to make those adjustments we talked about. Wants unable to fight his way out. Oh no, that sucks. Okay, but gets the follow up bite. And regardless of the Nago's health, if you get hit by Nago bite, your chances of winning the round drastically fall. <laughs> And not able to get the splat, but kind of don't even want the splat. Just want to keep running that mix as much as you can on a reeling noggle, but gets 5k in. That's a party starter. Okay, throw. Super still on the table for Tensorio. 5h comes through. Yep, there it is. I think he got burst out. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunate for Wonton will lose the meter and doesn't get the blood depletion from landing the super either. Which kind of puts him in a really awkward situation. Has bar for YRC. He wants to spend it, but he might never get to. And he will not. Nice, gets the bite. Caught the back dash. And that is death. Swanton. There will be no 3 0. That's step one. Can you win two more? Can you win two more, though? A tough ask. Tensorial putting himself on set point again. We saw what happened last time though. This isn't necessarily over. Wonton has a burst available too. There it is. It does not anti-air the glide in, but somehow it just gets a raw hit. And pick up off the slash record. That was beautiful. Nice conversion. Wonton's been so consistent on that confirm. Jab counter hit into close slash. It forces Tensorial to burst, but now we've arrived at the win condition. Have you in the corner? Notice out. Breaks the wall. Not dead yet, but. Bonus. 
Okay, IBFDs are starting to come out. Nice catch. It's not enough though, you need another clean hit. Trade. Another great combo off the trade. Wonton. That's gonna be death. And just like that, another game five. It's looking pretty close. Mankind. Duel one. Let's rock. What a first loss it would be to hand to Tensorial after being 10 and 0 and set to beat him in winner's finals to punch your ticket to grands, that would be a statement. But, Pensorial making it look like, yeah, I'm not really, I'm not really about that. Okay, starts it off with a bite, the gold burst in response. But 5k stopped the glide. And despite getting the gold burst, you never got to use any of that meter. We're going to the very last round of the last game yet again, ladies and gentlemen. Wonton with the burst advantage, but Pensorial getting the first hit. How far will it go? Uh oh. Wonton's in. Has a bar to work with as well. Nice counter poke. Okay, mix up time. First, yeah, I'm not trying to deal with any of that. Both have a bar. How are these meters gonna get used? Wow, stomps on the toes and the burst bait. Wonton does it. Takes down Tensorial the first time for tonight. We'll be sitting on that winner's side of Grand Finals. He did, he baited the counter poke, stomped on her toes. Ah, yes. Gotta have some. Not a punish, but still just trying to play that mid-range game. Wow, it doesn't get the punish on the PRC either. Nice catch. Blue Heck is in. Got Blue Heck offense we know him for. Round start 6P. Knows that Gold Lewis love to get those air approaches but trying to shut that out shut it down before it becomes a problem nice it's over the 6b yep baits the dp as well dprc is still an option you have to be worried about Okay, bust out super. Nice catch, 5P. But back, back, back throw. The Strive Classic, back throw into the corner. No. Not letting that rock hold this super real quick. How dare you try to DP? I'm ready for it. Damn. 
Nice catch. New heck is in. Once again. How is Red gonna get out? Will Red get out? Nice. What a driver challenge. And that still wasn't enough. Gold Lewis health. Run for it, super. Just bet it. Trying to call it out on round start. It will be game one to Blue Heck. Maybe looking for burst there. Doesn't give it up though. <laughs> okay, Blue, you have to th think a little bit about that one. <laughs> okay, off the clash. Tried to get something going with the movement afterwards, but. Relatively clean round. Get off of me. And again, that Thunderbird is uh <laughs> is landing in some spots that I really don't expect it to. Yep, that's been the tried and true for Blue Heck all day. That overhead into super. This is gonna be it. the round. No, it does not flat flat in the tap does get super through. A lot of damage coming out from that. Does blue think that red fears DP is the question. Nice. Okay, round three it is. Red's gonna get burst first here. So much chip taken. Oh, eats the hit too. Oh my god, far slash anti airing. Behemoth Typhoon, and that's just it. Ties it up with a perfect. Gold Lewis. Dickinson. Bit of a scramble, <laughs> trying to get the anti air, but nowhere to be found. Nice again, these jabs. Hey. Mm. Yep, back into that corner. Right, the lightning comes out, but it clashes. Wow, okay. I don't know if either of them knew that would happen, but that was kind of crazy. To everyone who wants the band birthday train. <laughs> they don't know it's the source of Red's power. Or maybe they do. Maybe they're just out to get Red. Nice. 
No, we're fans of red around here. Oh, not close enough to get that jab. Ah. Okay. Chip becoming an issue here, even. Nice catch on the back dash. Oh, big counter hit here. Dead? Barrel. Yep. Nice 6P. Really just playing that box of doom. Trying to keep you locked in this corner as long as I possibly can. Hard knockdown. Nice back dash. Gets away from the stomp. Uh oh. It's gonna hurt. Oh, okay. A little bit of a drop. It's okay though. Two bars on blue hex end though. Red's gotta be so careful and just eat a beat driver. It's not gonna be enough though. Gold is the big boy. Gold burst comes out. Burn it down after. Oh my god, that shit is cheap. Oh, tried to wait super long for the burst, but didn't give it to him. Oh my. That was such a sick back and forth to burn it down. Hopping in place, knowing that the laser was going to bring Blue Heck in range for the mix up. Actually landed it. Went for the burst bait afterwards, tried to wait ultra long, but Blue, he Blue Heck waited just a, just a tiny bit longer to spend that burst, and it made the difference of dying and the current reality where Blue Heck is up 2-1. to one. What was that? That was, uh, that was some Guilty Gear right there. Mankind Duel One. Let's rock. Mm -mm -mm. Fat counter hit, but doesn't get the continuation he's looking for. Nice. Jump does jump jump in, and that is the round. With the quickness with a perfect from red. Duel two. Let's rock. Wow, sick low profile. Stab the toes. Get off of me. Hey. Hey. Nice fight here. Got the whole link? Nice, nice, nice. Red has been unbelievable with these conversions off of 5P. We're going to game five. Yet another one. There have been no three ones in this top six. Been nothing but three twos and three O's. Dual one. Yeah. Let's rock. Just gonna get that first big opening. Looks like it's blue heck. See how far we can get with this. Oh, Red gets out of the corner with Jump Dust. Wow, Clash on the 6B. He tried it again. This time Red was looking for it though. Okay, it's gonna go. It's a punish and Blue Heck actually spending burst doesn't want to take the fat punish. It's gonna be a scramble, pretty even on life here. Nice catch. 
Has super. But doesn't splat with the overhead. Speed round start. You've seen that go a lot for Blue Heck. Oh, slides in before the Thunderbird comes out. Oh, this is a tough situation for Red. Has to defend. Has to use the burst. Down to 35, 40% life. Gets the overhead again. It is hit damn near every time this tournament. And that's going to be it. The 2K, 2D. It will be Blue Heck taking the set 3 2 and advancing. All right. Tensorial suffering a little bit of a fall from Grace earlier. Did end up losing their first set of the tournament, but a brand new matchup in Blue Hack. They did not play in the ladder, so this is the first time they're running into each other. And can't say that Eno Sin is the most common matchup, but it's what we got in front of us, and this should be the round. Oh, it doesn't splat. Wow. Oh. For some reason, like, when Eno... Oh, well, wow. <laughs> the command grab super. Eno, of course, with some privilege. Mm -mm. Oh, nice pop. Doesn't convert it though. The blue egg down a lot of life. Gets air grab. Somehow, I feel like I don't see Eno's air grab very much at all. But it came out. Run up, ride the lightning. What is going on? There's some hatred in this set right now. But. Pokes out the rush forward and Tentorial will get game one. That was just a lot. That was a lot. That was a good. That's a lot of damage. I know, right? Insanity. Okay, nice IB, but still trapped here. Okay, finally gets out of the corner. Keep driver in. And immediate. And Tensorial definitely trying to establish that that feeling in Blue Hex's mind that they can't run Oki without worrying about some type of super at all times. We saw the call out command grab super last time. That usually only works on someone that's trying to throw on Oki or is scared of the other super. <laughs> wow. Now, good awareness from Blue Heck to air dash out of there after the clash. Nice hit confirm. Tensorial with a bar. Big driver is minus three. Oh, uh, the follow up. Dual three. 
Ey, ey. Hm, hm, hm. Okay. She did not to take the wall stomp situation or the super do the wall. Some trades. Nice bait. Tensorial playing with some hatred right now. Definitely not feeling great about that last set. Definitely wants the revenge on Wonton. I can feel the hatred exuding. Blue Hex got to try to pull something together to stop this assault because running out of time. Dim. Okay, nice. Tutorial left without burst. The blue hat can just find one solid hit. Nice. The one he's looking for. Hey, again. You know air throw. Eats the no. Oh, no. Blue Heck was trying to make an aggressive play to get out of the corner and just ate the, the entire note. And suddenly the round's gone. Was in such a good position before that, but now it's Tensorio on set point. Nice. Backs it up. Avoids the burst. Note is out. 6P. And Blue Heck is playing on the back foot this entire time, just trying to find a way to escape, but... Tensorio is rushing down. Okay, finally we get a solid hit. Burst comes out, though. Two bars on Blue Hex end. We're going to see the Ride the Lightning. We have RC. Surely you don't die from this. Yeah, definitely not. Positive bonus, though, for Tensorio. He can just bide his time. Has a bar to work with, but... Chemical love from downtown. It's going to be a run back. Tensorio... Punches the ticket to Grand Finals. With a 3-0 over Blue Heck exiting the tournament at third place. And uh, for those of you who did not participate today and don't have access to the Discord where the players played the tournament, Tensorial was extremely frustrated uh, with the loss in Winner's Finals. So definitely some hatred coming into this set. Hmm. Yep, drops it on purpose to force the mix-up situation. Still not enough. Uh-oh, Wonton Din. This is kind of what we saw the last hit, too. Like, Tensorial would get a lead, but oh my god, bro. What was that? Yo, 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 yo. 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 It's do wonton it's different, bro. <laughs> Yo, relax, man. There's kids watching. Okay, nice jump back. Yep, 2S checking stroke at all times. Such a great button in general, but especially against stroke the big tree. Get bitten. Good luck. A second bite. Wonton. Saying it's not a fluke. It wasn't a fluke. Dual one. Let's rock. Oh, 
<laughs> situation call for the rule. <laughs> It'd be like that. And just getting so many bites. It's just like, like I said before, it, it gets exponentially harder to win rounds when Nago bites you once. But if he's getting multiple bites per round, how many times have you guys seen someone come back from that? It is tough, to say the least. Wanton throws the bar, but he might die here. Yeah, definitely. Wall break is going to be enough. All right, so a nice little comeback from Tensorial. Yep, 2 has to check that stroke again. Oh my god, so many counter hits. Jesus Christ. It's going to be the round. You glad Ted to show correctly for the music. I had to do it for red. Oh my god, caught the backdash. Almost died for that. Okay, another mix. In control here. Nice block from Wonton. Staying solid. A bar on both sides. Wonton gets hit though. Doesn't burn RC and he's dead. Challenging. I blocked her shit, now I get a turn. To be death? That 5k is such a troublesome button for Eno. <laughs> it anti airs, goes super far, all that stuff. Combos. Gold burst. Looking for a potential wire. See that thing? Oh, you should be dead. Oh, wait. Once on getting another chance to trade, though. In Tensorial's favor. Goes up in the set 2-1. Have we figured something out here? If any of y'all hate birthday train, you have to answer to red. I will not be responsible for what happens to you in that occurrence. Oh, gets underneath. 
And burst comes out. A little bit of a hero burst, still. Hmm. But, you know what they say. Nago can always win a round. He's one of those characters. <laughs> oh, it gets counter hit. Alright, Tensorial on reset point. Oh, baited as well. Okay, this is going to be a tough round to win. Nice challenge. I actually have enough blood meter to send one special move. Yeah, there it is. Gets the super before the pop happens. Still alive, but barely breathing. I would be so scared. If I were Tensorial, I would be terrified to stick out a 2k after what happened last set. Uh-oh. That's what we needed, though. And it's not enough. Nago, so bulky, lives, has bar 2 and burst, but 2k? It's a reset, ladies and gentlemen. The bracket has been reset. One last three out of five. What a statement it would be from Tensorial to win two sets back to back after that nail biter of a winner's finals. And that set was actually our first 3-1 uh, of the entire top six as well. Okay, mixes their landing right now. Another overhead. YRC. And wow, just pressed Was maybe sensing that Wonton was scared of his own YRC and gets the round for it. Life can catch you quick, I'm saying. Nah, these are, these are definitely quick, uh, definitely quick, quick games. They're mauling each other. Knight gets under 2H. Should be the game? No, not yet, but that is. And so Tentorial builds the first legitimate lead after the reset. Better see Command Grab Super from Eno, you would be really sad, but not show it. <laughs> I mean, at least we saw it last set, right? It could be worse. 
That's gotta be better than nothing. Come on, actually too far away to get the 2k2d to land. Puts him in a horrible situation, wall slump. Chemical Love actually getting a lot of good mileage for Tensorial. Yeah, there it is again. Nago's so large. Uh-oh! What a jump in! And the tap does the clutch from Wonton! Steals the round! Nago just has that power. He has that power. Down, but not out. Okay, gets the grab. First time we've seen Tensorial go for grab in that situation, too. Okay, no punish. Was maybe looking for RC? It is plus on block if you block it, though. You gotta punish it on the way up if you're going to punish it all. Uh oh, big hit and the first big goodbye. We're gonna tie this up 1 1 with the quickness. Charge 5D, yeah, yeah. You make a mistake on burst, good night. <laughs> Absolutely no surviving that. Duel one. Let's rock. <laughs> Okay, Tensorial losing the burst early, that is horrifying going up against this character. Character that kills you so fast, you might not get that burst back for a while. Tap dust, and that's death. Oh no! Okay, close it out. And like I said before, you got still a good amount to go before burst. You might be down 50% life before burst is even available. Look at this. Awkward trade. Trying to keep Wonton locked in this corner, but bust out super. First we've seen it this set, and it lands. And just straight up dies. Okay. I I was thinking that maybe there was going to be a birth attempt there, but just straight up dead. My bad. Kami 99. It's been a while, man. How you been? Here to cheer on your Canadian brethren. Man. Duel one. Let's rock. All right, Wonton. Up 2-1. Has won two games straight. And these trades, bro. Every trade. I swear, like, nearly every trade in the game in Nago's favor. Don't want to trade with this character if you can avoid it. Okay, no tell. Clean round from Tensorial. Little to no retaliation. Did have to spend the burst though. Oh, no whiff punish on that. Walking forward into Chemical Love. Ah, hops over the 2S. That's a bar, so next hit should be death. And there it is. 
game five. Just, just completely murdering each other back and forth. I really don't know who's going to win this game five. One small opening is going to determine the entire set. in a bit of trouble here burst is gone have to defend yrc okay builds a little bit of space tried to get that 5k out there but it's not enough it's tripped up has a bar as well tensorial on tournament point big counter hit comes through No super. Don't know if it would have killed, but. And just cashes out with super, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. Ten Soriel runs it back after getting put into losers. And is your new Let's Rock champion. Let me see if I can do this the right way. Boom. Taking a look at our top eight for this week.